coaching the Marucci elite team, but obviously a longtime career as a major league catcher, Tom Pagnazzi. First of all, the coaching part of things. We'll talk about your career and your youth. Uh, do you enjoy coaching? I, I love it. It's it's a lot of fun uh, being with the kids and, and giving the knowledge and the experiences that I've had over my uh, playing career and and kind of pattern myself after certain coaches. Uh, I, I really enjoy it. You know, it, it's 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 fun. It, it's it's the time to give back and. Uh, they seem to enjoy it too. This is amazing here in Jupiter with all these teams, isn't it? It's incredible. Uh, Andy came last year as a sophomore, and uh, your first time, I've, I've heard about this. And when I walked in, you know, I, I've never really been surprised by a lot of things, but this was unbelievable. This year I have my own golf cart. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, sometimes I learn real quick, you know. Now I can get to fields and, and uh, see, see a lot more players. Uh, it's an incredible event organized incredibly and uh you know even last year with a little bit of weather it still got in and, and and still got in the right way things weren't shortened up um perfect game does an incredible job at the way they go about their business pitching for the texas scout team yankees out of arkansas we already talked to dad tom with a lot of big league experience this is son andy now your father obviously made a good living is able to take care of you because of catching does a catcher have the ability to teach a pitcher a few things because you're a right-handed pitcher? Oh, no doubt. Um, catcher, he knows everything about the game. Every position there is, you know, one of the smartest positions you got to be. And for you, when I read scouting reports about you, I hear polished. They talk about your ability to command the strike zone, a uh, nice pitch mix. Give us your scouting report on yourself as a pitcher. I mean, obviously command is key. If you can't command it, it doesn't matter how hard you throw, how good your pitches are, it doesn't command. Um, energy, focus, you know, really focus on getting the batter out. It's not all about striking everybody out. And, I mean, it doesn't matter how hard you throw. If you don't get outs, you don't – you throw too many pitches, it doesn't matter. Uh, give us the Andy scouting report, Dad. Well, you know, he's a pitcher. Uh, he's a lot bigger and stronger than I was at, at this stage. Uh, you know, he's 87 to, to 90. Uh, decent breaking ball, throws strikes, and uh, he's able to pitch on both sides of the plate. Uh, I think that's why he has some success uh, is he's, he's able to go to both sides and, and his change up is coming along. So what are some of the things that you have taken from dad that you have taken to the mound? I mean, energy, focus. I mean, he preaches everything, effort on everything. And you got to work hard, play hard. For me, when you simplify this game, I grew up around the game with my father playing. Uh, you, you started with a very simple way to play this game. I think a lot of youngsters out there that are checking in would like to know how to play the game Fat Bat as you did in Tucson as a kid. Well, we played a lot of games. Uh, fat Bat was that big red fat bat, and uh, we took the track ball, which is that kind of like highlight. Uh, we use those balls, and we actually had a field. Um, I grew up in a great neighborhood. In fact, Eddie Vosberg, who pitched in the big leagues, and Mark Carrion, we were all Little League mates. And uh, we, we played baseball all day. It was It's not like it is today where everything has to be organized. We went from that. We went to Union 76 ball. We'd go to the mall and steal all the little styrofoam baseballs, and we used a skinny bat for that. Uh, we just made up games, and, and we played all day. Uh, we had leagues. You had teams of four. And you, you, we had 10, 12 team leagues, and uh, we, we just had a, had, had a blast playing. And finally, we watched the Cardinals play in the postseason yet again with success this year. You were able to in 87 in your 20s, and then in 96 in your 30s to go to the postseason. I would imagine two different ages, two incredible experiences. Well, you know, the first one, because it was my rookie year, I remember being out to dinner with my dad going, Man, my rookie year at the World Series, you know, how many am I going to play? Well, my poor dad, you know, he grew up a Cub fan. So he looked at me and said, Ernie Banks played 23 years and never got to one. And uh, he goes, enjoy it. So never got to go back. We got to the playoffs, got beat. But uh, it, it's an incredible uh, feeling. It, it, it's what you play all year for is to get to the playoffs and get to a World Series. Uh, and, and it's very enjoyable at this time of year. Tom Pagnazzi coaching, son Andy here pitching. Pleasure to have that conversation. Congratulations. Thank you.